I'm going to write the equation of a line given the slope and y-intercept. We will again use the slope-intercept equation y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, when given those two pieces of information. If we're given a graph, then we must first find both the slope and the y-intercept. Let's begin with the example. Given the slope, 2 thirds, and y-intercept, 0, negative 8, write the equation of the line. Now we begin by writing our familiar equation, y equals mx plus b. Since the slope is given to be 2 thirds, we replace m with 2 thirds, plus b. b is where it crosses the y-axis, so particularly the y-coordinate. And we can put plus a negative 8 or simply minus 8. So the equation y equals 2 thirds x minus 8 will be the equation of the line with slope 2 thirds and y-intercept 0, negative 8. Suppose we begin, begin with a line, the green line here, and we want to write the equation of the given line. Now notice, in order to write y equals mx plus b, we have to know both m, the slope, and b, and where it crosses the y-axis. I think we can look carefully here. It looks like it crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. So the value of b will be 2. That's pretty easy. How about slope? Remember that the slope is the change in y. The symbol delta stands for change, divided by the change in x. What we need to do is pick two points. Why don't we select this other point down here that has coordinates 2, 0. And the way we find the change in y is we take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now let's call this point x1 y1. Let's call this point x2, y2. So we take the second y minus the first y divided by the second x minus the first x. So we have 2 divided by negative 2 which gives us negative 1. So the slope is negative 1. So that means the equation of our line will be y equals negative 1x, but we can leave the 1 off, negative x plus 2. And this is the equation of a line that passes through 0, 2, and 2, 0.